If you live in Wyoming, I want to talk to you about investing in real estate out of state, okay? So all my Wyoming folks, all my folks in Wyoming who have been thinking about investing in turnkey real estate in one of the most popular cash flow markets in the USA, this show this show's for you, and I'm pretty sure if you do some Google, and there ain't a lot of shows focused on folks from Wyoming, right? Wyoming don't usually get a lot of attention. I mean, what do y'all got out there? Like, like, like ranches? Like, you got, like, ranches? Like, is there, like, you got, like, steers, right? Steers? Bulls? I don't know. Like, like, ropes in, like, a circle? Like, that what y'all got? I don't know. People don't pay attention to you guys, but I'm paying attention to you. Let's talk. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today's show, today's show is from my man, Jim. Jim from Wyoming, man. Casper, Wyoming. As mentioned, bro, not a lot of people uh, out there are focusing on talking to folks from the Casper, Wyoming, or all of Wyoming area about out-of-state investing, right? So, Jim, you and I are going to hit a nice little niche on the internet, right? I would assume anybody who's living in Wyoming and is Googling how to invest out-of-state is probably going to come across this video, right? Which is good, because, Jim, this one's going to be a friggin' learning experience, bro. Now... Where you live in Casper, Wyoming, the real estate prices are much higher than some of the low-cost cash flow markets in the USA. Now, as people that are in high-cost markets, Google the best cash flow markets in the USA. One that almost always comes up at the top of the list is Cleveland, the Cleveland real estate market, right? It's how you came across me, Jim. That's how me and you became simpatico, bro, working as a team, trying to get you some deals. Now, as I said to you last time we spoke, uh, we're going to give you several videos this week uh, with varying types of properties because you're interested in several things, right? That's what's nice about Holton Wise. We can help you build portfolios of all types, right? We're not like a regular turnkey provider where you're stuck with just like one type of asset, right? You're going to do some short-term rentals. We're going to get you some videos on those. But you're also in, interested in some multifamily long-term rentals, right? And this one, this is big, okay? This is a duplex in Cleveland that I think has some issues related to lead paint, which is a whole new big can of worms here in the Cleveland market based on some new laws. So this is a great way for you, as you and I build your portfolio, Jim, uh, to really understand the nuances of this market and what I do here at Holton Wise. So let's take a quick break and we'll jump into the law, the property, the cash flow, the whole nine right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genius granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Now, we're going to talk about lead paint, y'all. We're going to talk about lead paint. Lead paint's important. Lead paint is super important, right? Why? Because this house is in Cleveland. Cleveland just changed the game, y'all. They changed the game. They changed the rules, okay? There's new rules that we got to play with, okay? The lead safe certification, right? It's a very complicated process, okay? It's an incredibly complicated process. As a matter of fact, it's so complicated for investors. I actually made a video about it. It's a half-hour video. Yeah, it took me a half hour to explain the process to you guys. Uh, you might want to hit time out if you haven't seen that video yet. Of course, I linked it below. It'd be dumb to bring it up if I wasn't going to link it below. But maybe you all want to pause this video uh, so you can watch that video, right? Uh, because that's going to come into super duper duper play here. This is very important that you understand this process. Ready, set, check it out, come back to me. Woo! What's up? I'm assuming y'all watched that video, right? Now, this deal, it's a cool deal, right? Numbers all make sense, okay? Uh, when we get tenants in there, uh, 
at market rent, we're looking at eight hundo a piece, sixteen hundred a month, nineteen thousand two hundred. Now, currently, there's already two tenants in there. They're very close, very very close to that market rate. Uh, the current seller put them in at seven ninety five and seven fifty, but slowly you'll just increase them up, right? So sixteen hundred, nineteen thousand two hundred. Now, that would result pulling up the other chart uh, in an NOI of approximately nine thousand four hundred ninety three dollars a year on a normal year. That's what I'd anticipate, but uh, we need to talk about lead, okay? We need to talk about lead. And this, right? See this? Okay, this is this is big. You got wood, wood siding. All this is wood here. I know the picture's a little blurry, my bad. But that's just what we got to work with. It's all wood and it's kind of peely, okay? It's kind of peely. So the seller on this particular property has not gone through the lead certification process, okay? nor do they intend to, but that's okay. You understand what the process is like, uh, and if you don't want to buy it with that unknown, I mean, this property ain't for you, uh, but this is what we're seeing a lot of right now, right? As I said in the video, only 7,000 of the 90,000 rental property units in Cleveland have been certified, right? So uh, this is where this insight is going to help you, right? You see this? Wood siding, right? It's peeling as well, okay? So those are probably two potential lead paint hazards inside the house. Uh, it's looking pretty fresh, right? These are the pictures they took. They recently painted, renovated it uh, before they put the tenants in. Uh, it appears the windows are in pretty good repair. So the main thing, and we got other nice things in this property too, right? You got the two hot water tanks, pretty new, updated electrical. Uh, but just, again, more wood siding on the outside of the house, right? So for me, oh, and the garage is all jacked, okay? The garage's got nothing but peel and paint, and it's actually, like, sloping and stuff right here, okay? So for me, what you need to know about this investment is you as the buyer are going to need to be the person who goes through the lead certification process, as explained in that other video. So... Uh, what I think would make sense, what I think you need to take this one down, you can't give them list price, but we could give them a 110, 110. And then you need to assume you're going to have at least 15 K, uh, in lead hazard renovation work. As we go through that lead paint, uh, lead based paint process, what I believe is going to come of this is about 15k in work, and what that work will entail is us nipping this thing in the butt, eliminating this issue, because you got to do uh, the testing and stuff going forward every two years, right? Uh, but the main hazards I see is the exterior. So what we want to do here is we want to vinyl side that house. Now, in addition to that, we got two options with the garage, right? It's all jacked, so you could fix the garage and then vinyl side the garage. It's one option. Another option is to tear the garage down, but there's already two tenants in this property. So if previous landlord is like, yo, I'm going to rent you to space, member, they're not paying market rent. One's like $750, one's 795 And he, if he's like, yo, your rent's 795 you get the up unit, and then you get one, one spot of the garage, we can't really just come in there and be like, nope, no more garage, right? So it's kind of like part of their lease, so you'd probably want to fix it. If that's not the case, we have the option to just tear the sucker down. Uh, that's an option as well, but... You got to factor in up front here about 15K uh, to get yourself lead certified, right? Could that amount go up a little bit? Yeah, could. There could be more hazards I'm not thinking of. Uh, is there going to be a way for you to know uh, prior to closing on this sale? No. <laughs> no, there's not. Uh, again, refer to the video where I explain the lead paint certification process. This seller, he ain't going to do it, okay? So, this is uh, the information. Do I think it's a reasonable deal at 110 with the 15K estimate? Yeah, because I think my estimate is honestly pretty accurate, right? Uh, nobody's got a portfolio like of duplexes and stuff in these neighborhoods bigger than mine, right? So I know what I'm doing, uh, but I just need you to understand uh, the level of unknowns that, uh, of what you're dealing with, right? So uh, if that makes sense for you, if you're like, yeah, no, that all seems reasonable. I think I'm totally okay, and I know it could go a little higher than 15K. Uh, could possibly go a little lower. Unlikely, just so you know, folks, whenever there's like a estimate, it's like, yeah, it's about the estimate. You know, it's real estate. Odds are more good. It's going to go on the higher end than coming lower. Uh, that's just the name of the game. Uh, but I'm projecting back to the chart here. 
I'm projecting about a 13% cash on cash return long term. And that's factoring in getting the tenants up to market rent and factoring in uh, the $15,000 in red work. But, you know, this area, right, uh, over by West 101st there, Cleveland, nice west side area, C grade area, got a ton of properties over here. I think it'll be a solid earner. It's just the new lead laws are brand new, and it doesn't even appear the seller uh, has any idea how to navigate through them. Again, that's why I made the other video. That is the new reality in Cleveland, though. So we ain't getting away from it, folks. So your options are to take one of my assessments and know that that could go up a little bit, could go down a little bit, more likely to go up or hit the number, right? Uh, you could do that. You could focus on properties that are already lead certified, or you could focus on properties uh, that are outside of the city of Cleveland. Remember, the city of Cleveland where these new laws uh, have just been passed, uh, has about 350,000 people. The area that Holton Wise handles is a population of about 5 million people. So this is just one little drop in the overall bucket, but there are some great deals, and I believe my best value add to you as real estate investors is to make sure I'm giving you this information because why don't you guys go ahead and out there and call 20, 25, 30, 35 realtors listing properties in Cleveland and watch you ask them to tell you everything they know about the lead cert and about their properties being lead certified. I challenge you all to do that, right? Sometimes we get a lot of leads, right, that come into the Holton Wise office from the show, obviously, right? We get a ton of leads, okay? And uh, we obviously charge for these videos up front, charge for this consultation. And, you know, we get a lot of jerk-offs like, do I pay you? Why well, don't I pay you up front to work with me? There's all the realtors that'll work with me for free. I'm big dog Billy Badass from California, and I'm going to buy a bunch of duplexes. I'm an investor. Rawr, beat my chest, right? We get a bunch of turds like that calling in. If you're one of those turds out there, why don't you do me a favor, homeboy? Call 35 real estate agents in the Cleveland market. Ask them to tell you everything you know about the lead paint certifications and about their listings. And, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know the level of sophistication they got going on with this kind of stuff for rental properties. Let me know. Yeah. And then after you let me know, bro, click the notes below. Book a free call at my team so they can talk to you about the process of ordering the paid video consultation from me. Because there ain't nothing that's going to sell my services more than you chodes going out there trying to talk to 35 realtors, trying to get the same level of information about the nuances of the laws that affect real estate investors like you that I give you here on the show. So let me know what you got to do on this property. 2210 West 101st Cleveland. I think we should bid 110 because I know we got at least 15K in lead hazard work coming your way. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.